saw the church, there was a separation line and there was no middle ground. No middle ground left as the sides literally, at, at, but, but I guess in the dream, this, at this time of the dream, sides had to have been taken. There was fire on the altars in the churches around the nation. And the fire moved on the heads of people who had been praying. And above the heads of many people in the church, I saw, the, I saw an actual question mark symbol above their head. And they appeared confused by what they were seeing in the world in the church. And I heard a voice say, those who refuse to get ready will be wanting in the end. So brace yourself and tell others that I have warned them to brace themselves, for they are about to see even more shocking things. Friday night, 20, August 21st, I simply saw the white figure appear, raised a finger to the sky, and he said, ready or not, nation, here it comes. Brace yourself. Just a rather quick and simple, you know, play on hide and seek, I guess. I saw this light in the sky, a big light, very large, bright light, and then darkness. And then I began to make out like a morning. was It was morning, and the, the night was going away, and the fog and the haze were drifting away. And I saw there were many Americans, and they were in like an emergency shelter. These people were huddled together, and they were shivering. There were individuals laying on cots, and there were suitcases all over the place. And a lot of desperate looks on the faces of most everyone. Uh, there were encouragers in the crowd, though. And they all were wearing crosses. And, and they stood out emotionally uh, from everyone else because they seemed to have hope. They had smiles on their faces. Everybody else was just downtrodden in despair, angry, frustrated, confused. And they, they were checking on people. They were trying to show patience and kindness. But, but at times they were met with anger and told to go away. But the encouragers just kept doing what they were doing in spite of the manifested upset of several in the shelters. And I saw businesses that were shuttered in the bigger cities. I saw gas stations. It looked like just people, people just walked away from them. And I saw headlines. And one read, shock and awe in the U.S. And one read, U.N. steps in to help host nation. It's March 29, 2020. The Lord gave me a dream two nights ago about an EMP attack on the United States. Um, the dream that I had two nights ago was so real that I felt as if I was there. I could see, hear, touch, smell, taste. It was like I was actually living in the dream. It was not dreamlike at all. It was very, very, very realistic. And it was in the car with my children. We were driving down the street past their uh, elementary school in the street it was like really well lit in our neighborhood and the lights in the school were on like they usually are for safety the street lights were on and the neighborhood houses were really well lit too because everyone was home um, and as we're driving down the street um, mid-sentence like we were laughing and talking and mid-sentence the lights went out the car lights went out at the same time so we were plunged into complete complete blackness and so i was kind of confused and i went to pull the car over and i realized that as i was pulling the car over and turning the steering wheel i had to muscle the car like there was no power steering in my car and as i was doing this i realized that there was this was an emp attack and i had an immediate feeling of doom like something really bad was going to happen but i also at the same time i had a feeling that jesus was coming um when i woke from this dream, like, I was extremely, like, jarred awake, and then I looked at the clock immediately, and I realized it was 4.48 a.m. In this dream, there was two young men. They were angels or messengers or protectors. They were standing behind me on my right-hand side, and they didn't have wings, but they just looked like, like, young men. And um, I knew in my spirit that, that they were angels, and they were standing behind me to my right. We were overlooking um, a Midwestern city in the United States from like a platform, like a deck of a house or something. And we were looking at the city from a distance and I felt like they were showing me something. Um, There's a quick white flash over the city, almost like it was getting lit up for like lightning over the, and it lit up the whole sky. And then I felt pressure in my eardrums and like a white ring of light from the center of the sky above the city like moved out really really quickly 
And as this, this was happening, I saw a plane drop from the sky and it was free falling and it sort of half tilted to the side and, and it sort of half nosedived into the city and it crashed into the city. And the dream, um, I was driving home from work at night and uh, everything shut off, all electricity, cars shut off, businesses everywhere, everything just went dark. All electri electronics went off, cell phones went off, cars went off, cars ended up just, just rolling. I uh, literally just woke up, um, I had another dream. Um, and I got a phone call from my dad, and apparently there was just torrential rain and flooding. Um, I don't know where we were as far as city, state, nothing like that. Uh, we were talking on the phone, and he was talking about, you know, how there was just torrential flooding, and he was in the middle of it, and he honestly wasn't sure that he was going to make it, which obviously scared me. In the dream, I was super worried about him. Um, but then, after that, I immediately mean, remember I was, you know, with these people again, and then all of a sudden, we get, I mean, it wasn't like we got an alert or anything like that, we just knew, um, that an EMP attack was coming, like, it was about to hit, and I remember hearing, EMP, EMP, EMP. And then it was like, boom. And then it was like, boom. Almost like when all the power would go out. There was literally an audible sound like that. And then nothing worked. Everybody was checking the phone. I mean, nothing. And it was terrifying. So we were walking out to all the vehicles that were parked. And in the distance, I could see, um, like, a city skyline or it was like the city was off in the distance and yeah it was nighttime um during this and all of a sudden this weird energy came and I knew in my spirit that an EMP hit um all the lights went out um in the city skyline now in this dream I was with some people that I know it was late in the evening and suddenly in the dream all of the power went out in the house i immediately spoke in the dream that was an emp so i then run outside and i see that the power had been wiped out everywhere that i could see i also saw people running as if they were afraid which then all of a sudden the power goes out. And so um, my husband goes downstairs to check the breaker switch to try to turn the power back on. And I instantly knew that um, in my mind that that wasn't gonna work, the power was not gonna go on from him doing that. Um, so I went to go get my crank light. As that is happening, I'm like thinking a lot of thoughts in my mind. Um, the thought that I was thinking first was that this happened in the middle of the night while people were asleep and unaware. Um, and this was done purposefully. With the realization of that in that moment, I had a very uneasiness in my gut or my spirit. Um, like something bad was going to happen. And um, then I had a thought in my mind that soldiers were coming. And then that was the end of my dream. So there was a huge sonic boom. And I saw... The moment that the sonic boom happened, of course, in real life, you don't see that. But in the dream, I saw like if it was a bubble and this bubble just did this. Shh, and as the bubble did this, we felt the, the, the tremors of everything like going on. But the, the house was perfect. I went around the house. Nothing happened to the house. I saw there was my dog lay on the couch. And the dog did not happen, nothing happened to the dog, nothing happened to anybody in the house, nothing happened. It's like there was an explosion, but nothing happened. Then I came to the guy and I said, what happened here? And then he said, we did not have enough time to prepare a reaction, a counter reaction. And we 
suffered an EMP attack and I did not know what EMP attack was and then I woke up then I went on Google and I searched EMP I saw this purple sky and uh, just lightning <laughs> coming down and um, maybe little explosions happening but no fires were started but just about 50 bolts of lightning coming down from the sky every second and this went on and this is happening over the city of uh, where I live and I thought we're all dead. Everyone's gonna die. We can't survive this. That's what I thought. And as I watched, I heard Bible verses being read to me too at the same time, but I'm not. And they were just being read to me. It wasn't like somebody was yelling down. And also I wasn't able to focus on what he was saying and what I was seeing. So I just, because I tried to do both and I couldn't, so I decided to just watch. I thought that was more important. Maybe I was wrong. But the lightning, uh, and he was just talking in a normal voice, everything, calm-like. And um, I don't know what he said. Too bad. Sorry, YouTube. And um, watching this lightning, and it goes on for about two minutes, and I, either it stopped or I woke up. But um, later... And then the next day or something, when I was at the gym, I was working out and I thought, I wonder what happens if I Google, Google Images, uh, EMP Sky. Oh, and then I Googled, Google Images, um, EMP Sky. And what I saw was this. I just typed in EMP Sky. Sorry, I'm not going to edit this either because... I don't want to turn the computer on. I never want to. But you see all those? Purple. Purple is the color for an EMP. That's what everybody says. And um, I thought that was really interesting. And no, I did not know that an EMP would turn the sky purple. I had no idea. But that's a lot of what it looked like, except there was so much more lightning. And I saw in my dream that no fires were created. So then I thought, oh, we're going to survive this. But I did think in my dream also that the electric grid is going down. Now, I wasn't 100% sure, but that's what I said aloud to myself. So I dreamt that I was sleeping and seeing myself sleeping and seeing myself wake up to total darkness. And... The first thing I did was to go to my window and look outside and I seen it was total darkness everywhere. So I realized it was a power outage going on everywhere. Hi, today is October 4th, 2018 and I'm going to do a quick video. Please bear with me because I have no private place to do this and I really have to do this because the Lord is putting it in my heart to make this video today and it's... um about judgment. Um, I had a dream two nights ago where he was telling me judgment begins in the house of God. So I had a dream where I heard clearly in my dream someone saying, I am sending judgment because my church refuses to recognize their sin. And then um, after I heard that, I also heard America has turned its back against God. Then I had another dream, uh, like a day after that one, that everything went dark. And it was in the middle like of the nighttime, but there was no light anywhere. And I was riding a bike with my husband. We were both riding a bike, trying to reach to our destination because we couldn't drive a car. And I was driving the bike. Um, we were running into some young people and we were telling them that they needed to stock up on food and water because we had just been hit by an EMP attack and that uh, we were not going to have electricity for like three weeks or even more. This is a dream I had on April 16th of this year. I was just standing outside 
with my brother, I think it was my brother, we were at my parents' house and we were standing next to one of those big flatbed trailers and all of a sudden I felt this energy wave hit me and it went through me, my legs felt like jello and I fell to the ground and I looked up at him and I was like, he didn't fall. And I said, did you feel that? And he said, yeah, what was that? And right, right when it had hit, also everything went quiet. Um, like the air conditioner unit outside of the house quit going, the people mowing their, their yards up the road, mowers stopped and traffic on the interstate, things you can just hear, um, just stopped. Everything went really quiet. And so we all, he started talking, trying to figure out what was happening, what what had caused all the power to go out. And it wasn't a power grid thing because everything had stopped. We Our cell phones wouldn't work. Uh, we were all trying to get news. We were trying to find out, but we didn't have TV for the news. We didn't have radios that worked. Our cell phones didn't work and all of that. We were trying to get information. And that's how most of the dream went. We were just trying to go house to house and, and talk to people we knew and see if anybody had gotten any word. And then the the dream switched and it was later on. I don't know how many days. It, it seemed fairly close, like maybe two days later, three days later. But we were trying to figure out a way to get to my house to get my food and stuff. And because the cars didn't run and this had happened while I wasn't home. So I was away from my food and, and supplies. And I just remember... Um, my brother had an old tractor, like a really, really old tractor, and we thought it still worked or something, and that we would take that, but we were concerned because people were already uh, getting kind of desperate and looting, and we were afraid, you know, if we can take the tractor and we'll have to haul it on the trailer and people will see, and, you know, they might come after us and stuff. And I also, one other detail I remember was water that I had thought uh, I should have stored more water. And a gentleman in a very expensive suit walked up and took off his Rolex watch and he traded it for 15 horses. But the man trading the horses, he said, oh, that, this Rolex is worth 30 horses. And he gave him, he was, he was getting 30 horses. There were no vehicles on the roads. There were plenty of people on, they were riding bikes, actually skateboards. <coughs> I even believe I saw someone on roller skates. Everyone was treating each other with kindness and respect. And a lady walked up and she seemed very frustrated. She said she needed eggs desperately. Tears in her face. She had nothing to trade for him. She said, I need eggs desperately, but I don't have anything to trade. And another lady grabbed 10 eggs and handed them over to the recipient. And she cried. And the person who grabbed the eggs was on the other side of those who were actually had the goods to trade, you know, and or to sell or to sell or to be bartered for. But that lady got the eggs and she cried and she hugged the lady back for the gift. And there were and there were there were um, there were tears in her eyes. Now, this is the same dream I had for several nights in a row. And then on the 14th, I had the same dream, but a whole lot more detail was involved. And here's what I saw. So I was on the seller side looking out. These tables were bowing down from the weight upon them and all the items that were set there for the bartering. The eggs that were on that rack were unwashed and a few were cracked and dripping down onto the other egg cartons. The tools that I saw had slight, slight amounts of rust, and they were organized according to their intentions. So you had, uh, you know, um, you had hammers all on a table, screwdrivers over here, but there were no power tools. Everything was hand-driven. I saw the, the wooden awls. Uh, I saw the, uh, I saw just basically hand-powered tools. Nobody was carrying cell phones or talking to one or looking at one. And then in the distance, I could hear thunder, and I saw storm clouds coming from the west, and suddenly lightning struck the Empire State Building, and it lit up. And I look at the American plague, and I see this vast, like, gigantic bolt of lightning come down and hit the flag, and I see the flag just fall. I see it fall. Then I see there's another scene, and... There's a time lapse in between. I see very few cars traveling on the road. Very few cars. And the ones I see are like older. And I'm trying to figure out as this is going on, what, what, you know, what are you showing me, Lord? And um, 
I see people walking to and fro and some of the children even had large bellies, you know, like the, the, you know, we're all when we're younger, if you're a child of the eighties and a youth of the nineties, we saw these save the children things from Ethiopia with their bellies extended from hunger. I could see children like that. I could see um, men walking to and fro and the Holy Spirit said to me, there will be much work to be done. Work will be everywhere to survive, but there'll be no means and no way to get there. And that's, I saw the few cards and I say few, like on a street that where there would be constant traffic, one car going by and then, you know, older cars and everybody begging and banging to, for them to get a ride to their destination, okay? And then I look up and I look at the flag again and I see that lightning bolt hit it again. And that was the first first vision on that. At the time, I didn't even know what it was about. Even if an EMP strike does happen, which I do believe probably will end up happening, do not fear. God did not give us the spirit of fear. Period. Doesn't matter what man does. God is in control of everything. He will have our backs. In every dream that I've had, <clears throat> vision, there's been chaos all around. But not once did I ever fear anything that took place in those dreams. I was always protected. But I think the Lord tell us is telling us an EMP is coming. An EMP of some type is coming. The electrical system is going down uh, you remember and the nation was quiet there wasn't war or riots or people fighting or screaming or yelling the nation was quiet almost like it had not wakened had not awoken from a bad dream yet that's what i was kind of sensing the nation was fitful it was suspicious it was leery i saw people just quietly looking around and, and, and taking everything in with their eyes hesitant it's very hot, like they were expecting something to happen. And the sun was shining behind the clouds, but it was not out yet. And then the white figure appeared again. And he said, remain braced as this calm comes before a gathering storm that recovery will have a hard time finding. Remain braced as this calm comes before a gathering storm that recovery will have a hard time finding.